Team Lotus had a real reputation for innovation, but when the 88 was launched with twin chassis and a carbon composite monocoque, the Formula One world just thought, how can they do it? They've come up with the most radical car of all. The Lotus Type 88 is the first and only twin chassis Formula One car. The key feature of the car is there was an outer primary chassis which carried the bodywork, uh, the side fences, the under tray, and then the secondary chassis which was effectively inside the primary chassis. The FIA got wind that Team Lotus were going to come up with another radical car and they panicked and banned skirts and also introduced a 60mm skirt gap between the bottom of the side pods and the track. So the primary chassis, when the car left the pits, the downforce basically sucked it down such that the bottom edge of the primary chassis formed the all-important seal with the track protecting the downforce under the car and the Type 88 basically got round the rule that was trying to ban ground effect. The secondary chassis of the Type 88 was the monocoque, the engine and the gearbox. But most importantly with the monocoque, it's the first carbon composite monocoque in Formula One. This provided a massive increase in strength, particularly for ground effect cars, which were beginning to struggle with the loads that were put through them. And happily provided a big step forward in terms of safety. This is the original scrutinizing Past sticker, which was applied to the car when it was presented in 88B form at the British Grand Prix in 1981 and uh, my father thought it was all thumbs up and then overnight um, the FIA ruled that the car was illegal and banned it so suddenly Team Lotus didn't have any cars to race. Type 88 twin chassis car really was the most extraordinary Formula 1 car to be unveiled by Team Lotus and it cemented their reputation as being the pioneers of ground effect. Endurance Concentration Team Spirit.